Hi, this is Molly with Molly Key Creates and Starry Night Creations. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple completed albums using the 49 and Market Foundations Memory Keeper folios, the Trifold folio and the Quad folio. I'm also going to show you how you can take a blank folio and add the pages to it. Now, in a prior video, I showed you how you can assemble each of the foundation pages. So that's in a prior video, I have the pages assembled. I'm going to show you how you add them to an album and then what a completed album can look like. So let's start by getting these out of the way and get to the blank folio. So this one, this is how the folios come. This is a trifold folio. I'm gonna take the band off. And then it already has the magnetic closures in here. This piece is garbage, it's just for shipping it to keep it hold uh, so it can hold its shape. And then the trifold has this in here. Now the quad fold just opens out to four. Um, sections. But the trifold has this additional magnetic closure in there. And you can see when you have it closed that you can put a section of pages in here and in this section. So I have two sections of pages ready to go. I have, see this one is the trifold with the waterfall. That I'm going to add to uh, this cover. And then I also have this other trifold. Oh, this one is with pages C from the foundation pages C. This one is from foundation pages D. This has the pocket that's extra thick. And then I added an extra page here. This one I'm going to put in here because I'm using this one for my daughter's graduation album from college. And it will go right in this section and I can put her cards in there. So I'm going to, I'm just going to re-score this line or refold it. They come pre-scored, but you do want to make sure you get a good fold. So I'm not going to do that down by where the pocket is, but I do just want to get make sure it has a good fold there and then also on that side okay so now for the for attaching the foundation pages to the memory keepers uh folio i am going to use scrapbook adhesives ultra adhesive so this is a really strong adhesive um, i don't like using it on scrapbook pages but I do like using it on projects. And I'm going to start by getting good coverage on the back of this. Now I could also put it in here, but I don't want any of the adhesive to go over the edge. So I'm just going to do it right on the back of the page. And I'm not going to be skimpy with it because I don't want it to move and I want it to just seem like it is part of the album. And I did get a little bit over to the edge there. So I'm just going to rub that back in. Make sure you have the page facing the right way. I have the pocket there. And then you just center it right in here. So I'm going to move this so I get a better view of it. And before I press it all the way down, I'm just going to open it up and make sure that the, yep, see I got this a little too far this way. So I'm just going to recenter it. And make sure it will Fold. Oh, no, I just moved it. So if you just kind of fold it together, that will help you with centering it. Just want to move it up a little bit and make sure we're still good. And 
everything folds in. Okay, so now I will open it up. And press it down. And if you have the stamp pendable, you can rub this over. Now I don't want to go all the way over to the edge with the pocket because I don't want to damage the pocket. But now I have a pocket that I can stick her cards in. So I'm going to fold that back up. And now for this other section, again, I'm going to do the same thing. I have this trifold. I want to make sure it's going the right way with the waterfalls. So I'm going to flip this over, put adhesive on the back, not being skimpy. I put it around the outside edge and then put a cup full long strips down the middle. And sometimes I do have that issue where it tears the paper. So I'm going to go over to the folio then and add a couple strips. Again, double check that this is going the right way. I have the waterfalls. Fold it back up. And then place it right inside the folded edge. Again, you want to double check that you're not hanging over the edge there. And that everything folds together. And then again, I'm going to double check that I got that good. Okay, so then I'm going to take the stamp pendable and just rub it down just to make sure I get good adhesive adhesion there. So that is how you add the pages from here. The next step is to add your photos and then add any journaling and add any journaling blocks and then embellish. And then you're done. Now, one thing I do want to point out, um, and this might just be more of a personal issue that I have, is that I try not to put photos where the pages are going to be overlapping. So for here and here, I would not put a photo on both. Now, you can see with the scouting album, I did do it on a couple where the photos will be touching. But I just think that that um, could cause the photos to scratch easier. So just when you're planning out the photos, just make sure like you would do it on one of the panels, but not both. The other one could be like a saying, journaling, um, some type of, you know, even just pattern paper. So the same thing here. Um, like I put a photo here, but I will not put photos on here. Um, and you can see that I kind of worked around that and did not necessarily follow my advice on the scout book but just something to keep in mind. So now I have this album ready for the photos. So let's set that one aside. Now I'm going to show you two completed albums. Now this is a senior picture album. So on the cover, I just did um, blew up to five by seven, one of Josie's uh, senior pictures. Now when you open it up, you can see here where the two meet. This one just has the pattern paper and I did add a pattern paper along the spine. Then I had another photo. Now you open this up and you get the waterfall. Okay, so now you have the photo here. This I did with the Cricut. Um, I did a rectangle and then I put another rectangle in there to cut out the center part. Added the graduation cap. Now here I put it here and here so that when you have it opened up, it doesn't look um, it doesn't look strange, but you could put like a title or some journaling up there. Um, and then when you open it up, this is the, uh, from pages B, the foundation pages B, this is the double pocket folder with extra pages. So this, I just showcased her, her photos. And again, on the, I left one page blank, so it won't be rubbing. So again, this is the, from foundation pages B, 
the double pocket folder with the extra pa pages added in. Now it does have two pockets. I did stick a couple extra pictures in there and I also just took some black cardstock and fold it in half, cut it down to, I believe it's five by seven. Um, I just have a ruler here. Actually, it's about five and a half by seven and a half. So that then she can add some pictures. So I just stuck that in there that Josie can finish that part. I did another one here so that she can add some pictures. She can even add some cards there. So then you close that up and now you have from page C from the foundation pages C, this is a three by four waterfall pages. Now I did print these pictures slightly smaller than three by four and trimmed them down a little bit smaller. You can do um, journaling on any of them, but again, I did not put them on the back. So I have the photos and then I did a four by six and offset it. And again, these do, these will rub, but you have some layering in here. So it's not necessarily directly on top of the picture. Uh, but that is, this is the trifold album with both the waterfall, the three by four waterfall from foundation pages B, or I'm sorry, C, and the double pocket with extra pages added in from foundation pages B. Now for the quad fold, <laughs> I did that for an Eagle Scout album for my son. So again, I just started it with a picture on the front. And then, oh, I guess I should show you on the, on Josie's, on the spine and the back and the, the other, the two spines on the back, I just used the same pattern paper to run it around and then did a different pattern paper on the front. So this one is the quad folio album. Again, I just put a five by seven picture on the front, have on the spine back and the other spine, the same paper. So when you open it up, it opens up to four sections. So for the first one, this is the four by six waterfall pages. So again, did the five by seven photo, you open it up, And then I have, I did some three by four pictures to get a few more in there. And then I also did some four by six pictures. So they all, so I just did a mixture of it and I put one on the back page and um, with the Cricut, I cut out the date of his Eagle project. And there, I just did a title card for the Eagle project. And that is the final, um, a picture of completion. And so then I just added photos of working on it. Um, one thing I should mention is, with Josie's pictures, it was um, in the middle section with the five by seven pictures, I picked out some of the favorite photos. And then the three by fours were a lot of the extra pictures that were still liked. Um, on this one, I did kind of section it out with a different theme for each section. So this was the Eagle Project. Then in the middle section, it's the Eagle Ceremony. Now this was the, from Foundation Pages B, the pocket with the extra pages. So I had the extra page added on here. Now what I did on this one is I added the photo flips from Simple Stories. So that way I got a few more pictures and that also prevented like in this section particularly from the photos from touching and rubbing each other because these are in their own protectors. And that way I could get more pictures on here without worrying about them rubbing together. Um, again, I did the pocket so I could do the program, the cards, the invitation, um, cut out with the cricket, the eagle ceremony. And then I added pictures from the boys that made the that all had the ceremony together, his mentors, um, some friends and family that, that joined us at the ceremony, and a picture of him with the mayor who also spoke at the ceremony. So that section is the ceremony. Then I went to another section and this one has from pages A, from the foundation pages A. So this flips up. And so here I have a 
small pocket. Um, it doesn't, um, it's not as deep as the other one, but this one I can put some of the, these cards in that he's picked up along the way. Some, um, he got a couple of palms for Eagle Scout. So this is just going to have a few little, um, you know, just little flyers and I shouldn't say flyers, but cards that he has. Um, just for, to decoration, I had typed up the Scout Oath. On this, I added um, four by six photos. And then on each of these, these attach at the top. And then when you open it up, I did three by four photos. And so the theme of this section is just kind of like how we got to Eagle. Um, you know, Eagle is not just one project. It is, you know, going through Scouts. It's, um, you know, for instance, here's the first year at Scout Camp. Here's the last year. Um, so it's just kind of telling a story about this is kind of the journey, um, him and his dad. And then over here, this is when he crossed over. And then this was each of his years in Cub Scouts. So it all kind of goes together. And then, uh, again, just some cutouts I found on the Cricut. And again, I did this so that these pictures won't be rubbing, although this is thicker. So it probably didn't really save me. And then this last section is from the foundation pages C. This is the four by six trifold with the four by six waterfall. And so he did a lot of high adventures. So this is his high adventure section. Um, some group pictures while he's on the adventures. And then a picture, the group shot from each of the adventures that he was on. Um, and then again, just with the cricket. And here I did a strip on the Cricut saying what the adventure was and the date. So this is, again, Foundations Pages, Foundation Pack C, the 4x6 waterfall with the trifold. So again, just to review the, the pages, this one is the pages C from the Pack C with the 4x6. And this one is from Pack B. It has the extra page added and the pocket. And this is the thicker pocket. Then we have from pack A. So these both flip up. These We added pages so that they flip up. And then you have this section. And then I added some 4 by 6 here so you could get some more photos. And then the last section is from pages C. And this is the trifold with the four by six. Now I know I did not follow my whole instructions about not having photos touch each other, um, but I did try to follow up on some of the pages with just um, pattern paper and cutouts that I found on the Cricut that were Scout related um, so that not all of the photos are touching. And then when you close it, the other thing you wanna be careful of is not to overstuff them so that they are um, you know, rubbing against each other and creating the album to budge, bulge. So you can see back here with the cards, there is quite a bit in there, but the other section that is next to it. So this section is pretty big, but then it kind of is held in there by its own section. So anyway, these are the folios. I hope this helps. I know one of the biggest things with the 49 and market albums and Basically, any project is understanding what it can be at the end of the project. It's easier to start if you have an idea of what it, of how it can come together. So I hope that this video showing you completed albums and the prior video showing you all the different pages included with each of the foundation page packs and how to assemble them helps you get started to creating your own 49 and market folio albums. Thank you so much for watching.